I've never found a love like this. <gasps> Hello everybody, welcome back to E20 Zone TV. FCSB nil, West Ham free. I see what Mickey's saying, but he did score tonight and he deserves his goal tonight. If my stream mark will work, which it has done, he didn't score, but he did score, Mickey. He can't take that away from the young lad. If you do, that is criminal. Lucas is to my right. He was there doing the watch along. Uh, and we're going to get right into it. So let's get straight into it from the start. And let's start off with this man, Afonso Ariola. Uh, Lucas, talk to me. Uh, very quick and easy for me. Seven. I think he really only, I think he made one save tonight. Mm. No, he made a, easy. Yeah. He made a, uh, if I remember rightly, I think it was two saves he made tonight, which was yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. But... Seven. Mm. Time. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I keep it short and sweet. Seven out of ten, steady. I wasn't happy that he started. I, I would have rather start a young star or someone else, but he started him um, and he got through it. So, yeah, easy rating for me. Seven. We will move on to this man. Vladimir Kufal. What a ball he put in for uh, Mbamba's go goal or own goal, whatever way you want to put it. Um, I thought we had a good performance tonight, Lucas. I'll let you go on this one. Well, yeah, I thought I, comment. I thought his crossing was actually very decent tonight. Um, mm. He got forward pretty well. Yeah. Um, and as it should have been against an opponent like this, I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him a strong seven. Strong seven. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of with you on that. I don't know though. He did assist the goal though, mate, and the goal was a pretty <laughs> let's be honest, it was a good it was one of his best performances of the season. I will say that. Um yeah, I'm gonna say a high seven, just not an eight for me. I think that's, I think that's where we're at. Mickey's saying seven solid enough. Like we drain holes. We just didn't have seven. a lot we didn't have a lot to do on the defense today. So I can't mm. really Going forward today, he was good though. Yeah, I'll give him that. Yeah, he was he was a lot better going forward today than a lot of things. But I think everyone's sort of agrees. Seven second assist. Yeah, I'm with Paul on that. Hundred percent. Seven out of ten for him. Moving over to this man, Angelo Abona. What a goal it would have been, Lucas, oh my if that goodness. move would have paid off, mate. <laughs> Just one move... two up the whole entire pitch. That Absolutely was like unreal. Brazil meets East London, mate. And <laughs> Angelo Abona, if he would have scored that, that would have been one of the best goals I've, I've ever seen from a centre-half in my life. Um, assess his performance tonight for me, Lucas. Yeah, nice, calm, easy. Um, he was a bit shaky the first 15 minutes. There was some some weird play going on in the back, but um, they got over mm. that hump fairly easy. Um Seven. I'm actually going to give him an to eight do. tonight. A lot of not, to, oh. not a lot to for him to do tonight, in my opinion. That's why I'm going to give him that, that run forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you, mate. I'm going to give him an eight tonight. I really am. I thought he was solid. I thought he didn't do a lot wrong. Um, he, he should have scored the uh, goal. It's a good save. He looked happier. He looked more fitter than I've, I've seen him. Yeah, I'll give him an eight, mate. I thought he was, I thought he was decent tonight. So Steve's gone for a six. Paul's saying an eight. Same as me. Mickey's saying an eight. Um, usual suspect saying an eight. Drain Hull is said, um, I think that's a bonner, seven, close to an eight. Never want Augie to retire. And uh, Augie looking back to himself. Yeah, sevens and eights for him tonight. Please, before I carry on, please do smash a like on the video. It gets us out there. Helps us out. Please do smash a like on the video. I, I'll be truly grateful. Moving on, though, to this man. <laughs> Naif Aguerd got booked for really uh, a bad challenge. Not really a bad challenge, really, but what are you saying uh, on Aguerd? Talk, um, talk to me. Again, it was kind of the same with Ogbonna. He didn't have a lot to do tonight defensively, but in the certain situations he had to defend, he was absolutely brilliant. 
top notch. He didn't really have to pull any 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 tricks out of the bag tonight, passing forward wise. So um, and he kept a clean sheet. I'm gonna give him a strong seven. Strong seven. Um, I'm gonna give him a high seven. Uh, I think the booking it, it, it ain't a booking for me. Yeah. So I give him, I give him a high seven. It's not an eight. Uh. I like Nayef Agued and I can't wait for him to be in the Premier League rather than the Conference League. But yeah, absolute top draw from him. Let's get this man in. Mitchell, Harry, hey. how are you? Give me your assessment of Nayef Agued tonight. I thought Nayef Agued was very good tonight. Mm. For me, probably my man of the match, actually. It's close, but I think he was excellent. Um, I'll mm. give him a high seven. Yeah, is that exactly what I give him, mate? High Absolutely seven. solid as fuck. Mm. I, I won't ask you about uh, uh, Kafal, but <laughs> we've already done Kafal. But um, what did you think? Of, uh, what did you think on um, on Kafal and uh, Bonner quickly? What do you think of Kafal tonight? I thought it was alright. I thought yeah, it was alright tonight. Too bad. I know you sound like. It was, I would think of him like laughing as if like he's, he was really shit. He had a good match nah. tonight. Yeah, he, 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 played, he played all right tonight. I'll give him that. He played better than he usually does. It's pretty like that. Uh, give, give me right. ratings for Ariola. So give me a rating for Ariola. Uh, so, uh, high six. High six for you. Oh. Kafal. High six. Well, and Obama. <laughs> Mitch, you are hard. Mitch, Mitch, are you on, on a on, seven? Right. Mitch is on one tonight. Oh, come on, Mitch. Mitch, what are you and doing to me, Mitch? A strong six. He kept a clean sheet. Okay. Goodness me. All right, continue, James. Right, continue. It is then. So if I could have <sighs> seven, but he's still done super little sh- over top passes. Yeah. Um, M. Johnson. Oh my uh, god, my fucking thing! Ben Johnson, uh, Lucas assisted the first goal. Oh, uh, absolute great wonder pass. ball. Wonder ball into four now. Just and be again, honest. it yeah. comes from the center half position of a back three. That's where his best position is. I don't care what anyone says. He may be a right back, but his best position as, is as a third <laughs> center half in a back three, back five, however you want to slice it. Um, <laughs> Troj has tickled me. Mitch is the salmon cow of this channel. 100%, mate. Um, but I'm, I'm going to give on, him Lucas. a... I'm going to give him a solid seven, not a strong seven. Solid seven. Mate, I'm giving him, I'm giving him a high seven, mate. That, that assist for that first goal is must. Yeah, it was absolute beauty. If that is Aguirre doing that, I'm going mad. If that's Obonna, Mitch is going mad. Right? Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, high seven, uh, a strong high seven for me. Right? Oh. I thought he was, I thought oh. he was decent. I thought about that. Uh, Mitch, what are you say? <laughs> I don't even want to know what you're saying. I think but go on. six. I'll give him a mid six. Fucking um, Christ. I thought his ball was great. Mitch, you did watch yeah, us win he ended, tonight, the, he ended the game pretty solidly. But I thought first yeah. half, it was fucking shit. Oh, I my God. Oh, God. I thought it was Mitch, really shit first half. Mitch, we've just done a watch of and I can roll it back and then I can honestly say he was actually pretty Don't good tonight, stupid Mitch. passes all the time. Struggled defensively. <sighs> oh, my God. This fucking thing. I'm going to smash this fucking thing up in a minute. <laughs> It keeps well, turning off. Oh, Alfie, God, Alfie is the Pierce Morgan of this channel. <laughs> Just going to get through these comments quickly. I can't believe Mitch tonight. Mitch is on one. Um, so Mitch has <laughs> gone for a, a six. Jeez. A six, everyone. He doesn't even for... count the clean sheet into the match. Oh, God. Mate, I don't know. Right. Oh, Next player. Next, as Mitch sorts himself out, yeah? This man. No, Mitch goes first because I want to roast him if he says I, anything. I want to hear what you're going to say about this man. Uh, very impressed with him tonight for sixteen right. year old. It was good. Um, his left foot was exceptional. Look, he was rough around the edges, but he's sixteen. You know, 
you can't be too <laughs> ridiculous on him. But for 16 yep. years of age, I've seen I've seen a good bit of talent in him tonight, and it's the first time I've seen him play. Yeah. Um, I thought his left foot was exceptional. I thought his crossing was better than Cresswell's has been this season. It sounds oh, stupid. His crossing but not just... was absolutely I thought his crossing was superb. I thought he was excellent, mate. He should have um, scored, no? That second cross he put into Mubama, not the first mm. that he should have scored, but the second, that is exactly the type of cross that right. Mubama always Hold on. About. Hold on, Lucas. Brace yourself, everyone. 34 people. Please hit the like button before Mitch gives his rating. Mitch, what no, are you rating? I don't give a fuck if he... <laughs> I'm not rating him higher because he's younger. But right, what are you rating I'm, him? I'm giving, I'm giving him a strong seven. I think it was good tonight. I think seven is very fair. No way. Not a chance on your noddle, brother. I am Should have scored. That. Right. Uh, was... Should have scored. Right. I've in his, seen... In the, in his rest of his play, he, he gave it away a few times. But he's, he's, he showed good, good bits of quality. I thought he was a good seven. Right. I'm giving him a high eight. Excellent. I'm gonna. From start I'm to actually gonna lose mode in a minute. Right. High eight for me. Uh, excellent. Sixteen years old. Composed. Should have scored, but he's unlucky. I think he just see the goal before he actually done it. Um, for sixteen years old, there's people who are in like uh, score at sixteen, and he's in Romania. Yes, that is so superb, and I'm really happy for him. But I'm not gonna give him a higher rating just because he's younger. But you've also got to give him a higher rating for the performance. And the performance tonight doesn't warrant uh, a seven for me. It's higher than uh, that for me. I don't know. If he scored, I'd give him an eight. But he should have scored that chance. I think he gave the ball away a few times. Um, Towards the end, when the game was over. Yeah. Okay. Um, still part of his performance. I'll tell you what you makes are. a ten. A ten is a fucking incredible performance where you score two goals or more. And you get maybe a couple uh, of assists. That no, is a 10 performance. A 9 is what Rice does almost every week and he gets a goal or, or by far yeah. heads and shoulders man a match. You're right. giving him a 9. Like, that is fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry. I think that's so <laughs> stupid. A 9. Luke, Lucas, Jesus what are you rating? I was, I was actually going to give Scarls a very strong 7, but then I did realise <laughs> he actually put in a very good shift defensively as well. He did He was good to tackles that, that tonight. Kid. So Excellent. I'm going to give him just an eight, barely over the eight. His defensive effort alone gets me there. So an eight, 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 Mate, eight, eight, eight. For 16 years old, and his crosses right? were absolutely. His crosses was unreal. good. Um, the, he put a great ball in for someone, and where's the, the attacker? Sec- the second cross he put in for Mubama was Cancelo esque. Yeah, he was good, very good. So yeah, uh, Mitch is. Uh, hey, I'll tell you what. For 16 years of age, he's just come out of nowhere. And I said and I'm it. I'm really excited to chat, see what this boy can do. I said it from the moment I heard his name on the clean sheet. Yep. Remember the name. I've heard great things about him. And do you know what? I can openly say this. I knew nothing about this kid. And Lucas said to me, James, watch this kid, mate. He's going to be right tonight. And I thought he was fucking excellent, mate. <laughs> I hope I like, so. Although I do remember we bang on about people every single fucking year from the youth academy. You, Everyone goes, you, oh, my God, it's be the next big thing. Oh, back home. Wow. You, Tony Martinez. You, oh, Sonny <laughs> Perkins. But you've got to rate them game by game ratio. And tonight I know. But, uh, yeah, I know. But everyone just thinks yeah. you have to calm down a bit. Right. He's done very good. He's got a, one, a wonderful effort. But yeah. It's the right. progresses. Because not all players progress smoothly. Well, not in your book anyway, sir. Anyway, we'll Reece move Oxford on. As well. <laughs> Flynn Downs. Um, fucking Mitchell. Thing. It sucks. It absolutely fucks. Flynn Downs, Mitch. excellent tonight. Absolutely superb. Yeah. For me, probably my second best player. Just, mm. yeah, it's, it's, it's between three of them. I thought he was excellent. I thought Downs... I thought he was excellent tonight. Another, another good performance. Just, again, he shouldn't be hot playing a high up, but even when he did play the high up today, he looks comfortable. Yeah. His, pre- his press is I just think good. I think he would change the ball excellently. Like, Mate, his first he's time a great box to box midfielder. He's a, he, he takes got... care of the ball. He doesn't yeah. just pass it to fucking idiots like Lanzini did today. But yeah, I'll, I'll honest, uh, I'd yeah. give I'd give Downs a. I'll give down high seven. Mate! 
I don't think I've ever clashed with Mitch so much on this fucking stream. I've got to give him a high eight tonight. I thought he was excellent. I could be that. I was thinking, eh? I was thinking. He, listen, he helps make um, um, Bamba's goal. That's for starters. He plays the ball into Cafel, the ball comes across, and then and Bamba, he whether you say it's a... It, yeah, it, whether you say it's a, a known Actually, goal, but... no, I'm changing. Yeah, I'll give him a low eight. I think he's very good tonight. Yeah, I'll well, give I mean, him a low eight. I think low eight. Yeah, we've got there, people. Um, I'm giving him, giving him a strong eight. I thought it was excellent. The only worry I do have, I'm going to say this openly right now. I've got a feeling he don't play on Sunday. And I don't know why. I yeah. just think he's, he's playing think tonight. He, 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 he plays start over, it. and I think it would not surprise me. Paqueta is back for Sunday, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I think Paqueta could take his place. But listen, Flynn, I love Flynn. I think he brings uh, the West Ham passion that we're missing. Strong eight for me, mate. high eight for me. Excellent. Go on, Lucas. I think, first off, easy eight for Flynn. Not yeah. even a question. His first time touch, his first, his first touch passing, his yeah. one time passing is absolutely unbelievable. I'm not joking. I can't. I can't put my 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 finger on it, but like he is yeah. a weird mix of Rice and Noble put together. He's got He's like the L, his passing is very Mark Noble esque, but yeah. he grafts in his defensive ability. I'm not saying he's as good as Rice defensively, but like he shows flashes of Declan Rice and then passion of Mark Noble, which is absolutely beautiful to see. And he's West Ham, of course. Yeah, the space up so. bit. Lucas, so he can get you to call. me. You took all the fucking air time. Yeah, I just, I just, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Easy. Eight. <laughs> Easy and you were late. Yeah, and you was late, you know. Um, I didn't realize I was trying to help you. Fuck you now. <laughs> Mitch is on one tonight. He's on one. Um, Mitch, talk to me about me. I just, I just said this hurry up to get you to call up. Fuck it, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Connor Coventry, oh, nice Mitch. Thing to say. Coventry, um, I don't know. I thought he was. Um, uh, Hurry no, up. It was, it was average. High six. Uh, Lucas. Oh, easy wait. seven. Makes the game look piss easy. Easy seven. Um, I'm going to agree seven. with. I'm going to agree with one of them, and I'm going to agree with Mitch. High six for me, just not seven. Um, when I look at Flynn. And what Flynn done, he was more... I need to know Coventry's pass and accuracy today. Yeah. Because, again, like he that. just strolled around, made the game look easy, makes the correct passes all the time. He didn't have to go into second gear. The game is easy for him. Maybe. Maybe. But I would say a high six for me. High, yeah, just a high, a high six. I think he, he, he done okay. He done okay today. Um, please do smash a like on the video anyway. You know what I mean? That, that goes a long way also. Moving on to this man. Manuel Lanzini. Lucas, let you go first in this one. I think Mitch is going to have a lot to say. This one is a bit tough for me because I think him and Coventry had about the same game, in my opinion. But Lanzini oh, did seem a bit more active. So I'm going to also give Lanzini a, a seven. Clean sheet as mm. well. For me... Nah, uh, I can't give him a seven. I'm going to give him a six, just. I just didn't see him enough involved in that. He had a shot, could save. I, mean, I agree with West Ham 58. Many poor passes. I uh, totally agree with that comment. You just said it, as I was just about to say it. Um, so, yeah, standard six for me. Just bang on the six line. Um, Mitch? Yeah. Um Manu is finished, bless him. It's, it's, it's weird because he don't look finished, but when you can't do simple five-yard passes... I thought first half he was pretty good. He just gave the ball away so many times, just like with, with simple passes. And he's on the same wavelength. Like, he knows what he's doing, but he's just mm. he's just off it. He's not... He's just off it. And he's not right. He's just lost that sharpness. Yeah. So... Yes, mate. It's weird to really have in the squad. I mean, I, I would personally get rid of him this season. I'll get rid of him in January, I would. If it was me. Because I don't him, see... Yeah, for like a couple of million, yeah. Mate, I just don't think... I just don't know where he fits now. Because after it we come back... Wages, the, I think, as well. But after when we come back in the new year, is he going to play in the conference? No. 
Is he going to play in the Prem? No. Oh, yeah, he's Valenzini. Oh, fuck. Right. Oh. So, what's your rating for him, uh, Mitch? What you said, six? Not high eight. I'm giving him a fucking low six. Low, low six for Mitch. We, we will move on to this man. Umbamba. That man. Our Mitch. worst player tonight. Our worst player tonight. Mitch Shame that he done... Mitch, are you telling me... He really well. I thought he was absolutely terrible, though, every time the ball came near him. I can't I'm not, not trolling. I, I'm not trolling. You, Everyone is a... hyping him up because of the commentating. Mate, I thought every time he got on the ball, you, he tried to you, take the ball. He was shit. I thought he was shit. I thought no, I thought it was actually shit, mate. I wanted the boy, I wanted the boy to come and do well, but mate, I, I what, thought he done shit every time. Such a ball was touching was awful. Mate, passing was I? really poor. Uh, was out muscled every single time. Um, mate, positioning uh, was very good. I thought actually, very good. How blind, mate! We done something good. Go on, I've got a really um, rating. I'll give him a. I'll give him a high... I'll give him a five. I'll give him a high five. Mate, he fucking scored. No, he didn't. It was no goal. Oh, fuck off. Oh, Mitch. Come on, man, man. Come on. You, you are an you absolute are... fucking grin. You are... Mate, if he didn't... No, the... no, no. I thought if he didn't, if he didn't score or get himself in that position... I you are the Gary Neville of this no, channel, thought, right? No, 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 no. No, no. Just because <laughs> this is his debut, I'm not doing it because he's young. If it was a seen, season pro that had been playing for us for years, if it was Jarmelin, right. everyone would be giving him a four or five. I thought he was shit. I, look, right. it doesn't matter. Look, I'm just being real. I'm being. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. This boy could come good in the future, but I, right. I, I thought he was poor tonight. I really did. His positioning was I, good. I, I totally, thought the rest of his game was really poor, mate. I totally disagree on that. Right. What is he giving? Him his touch so so shit. It was weak as piss. Right. First half. Yeah. Good ball coming it was, in. It was shocking. It was shocking. Nah, I was first looking half, thinking, poor boy, like, get right. him. The ball comes in. He has a shot on target. Good save by the goalkeeper. Right. The goalkeeper makes the save rather than the shot. He gets the Not shot really. on target. Well, he does. He does he want does. to get the position. But, right. For, for our old Should have scored that. Should have scored. I'd be fuming if it was a Premier League and Skamaka didn't score that and hit yeah, but, the keeper like that. But Mitch, Mitch, listen, I get that. But you've got to go on performance based on tonight, and he's not a, he's not a, he's not a bang five mate for me, not a chance. That's an insult to him, I think. Massively. Oh, I don't know. You you're telling me he was bang average tonight, because if you're telling me he's bang well, okay, average, everyone else everyone else is saying sixes and fives, mate. He was poor. I think I everyone's trying to be a bit generous. I'm being completely honestly dead straight. Right. Mate, Mitch was hitting the bong. You fucking gave Lanzini an eight, mate. <laughs> so you was talking bollocks. <laughs> you may think I'm being harsh, but you hey, gave loads in your night. Mitch, Mitch, hurry this up. Um, right. He said a five. Lucas, what you saying? I do agree with some of the things Mitch has said. Um, his touch was rough around the edges. Um, his passing was eh, but he never stopped making runs. Good yeah. positionally, scored yeah. a goal. I don't give a fuck if it says own goal. It should be. His goal. Be, I think a five or six. I think a five or six. Strong is fair six for me. Strong six. Strong, for me. strong six. Right. I'm playing both of you at the wall. I'm giving him a seven. I thought he was excellent. I thought he when makes I say the runs. Strong six. I mean six point nine. Right. I'm saying this now. I'm saying my bit. He makes runs. Yeah. He don't throw his hands up in the air and get the ump and don't get the ball. Um. He had a shot on target. He had another one that was on target. Got deflected into a goal. Um. This is his first real start in a competitive game. Fucking give the geezer a bit of respect, man. Fucking seven out of ten. Excellent. Seven. Oh, fuck. He's not, if you're, he was, if you, if you're telling me you gave, you gave him a five, that is he's fucking not, disrespectful. He's not nowhere near a fucking five. He's not a five at Mate, all. It's, that's that's not a bang average. Purely performance, nothing else, which is what I'm doing, which is what I, which right. I always do. Tonight. I thought he was poor. Right. Looks lively, but again, that doesn't give you a high rating. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not giving you a seven when the rest of the game was, was not good enough. Like, his, his position and desire to get the box was good. 
We Fair say enough. that we say that every week with four nails and so check. Oh, they run hardly. They've got oh, the to get in the, in the box. But then you... we give them we give them shit ratings, and I just yeah. won't give my Bamba a shit rating because well, it's all round play. It's really poor. Yeah, but Rich, I'm Lucas. I don't think you're getting to the car up tonight, bro. Because this is getting like this is quite a heated debate. But I've got to say this: you're this compares Suchek and Fornells to fucking Umbamba, and this is Umbamba's first competitive game in a West Ham shirt. Yes, and I'm not going to give him. I'm sense? not going to give him criticism as his, on his career and as a player. I'm just saying what I've seen tonight, solely based on what the performance is, I'm right. giving him the rating. I'm not slagging right. him off. I'm just saying purely based on performance. I thought it was poor. Fair enough, fair enough, mate. We we'll move on to this man, Pablo Fornells, the second striker tonight. Um, Lucas. I wish the game's all the best, but it was shit. Fuck off. Really shit. Fuck <laughs> off. It's only because the commentators and all that were, were blessing him up and bigging him up, saying, oh my God, my bamba, my bamba. Right, it's so it's, it's we what he dreams of. His parents were watching him. All the, shout out to all the parents that take their kids to the fucking training pitch. Oh, this boy is, this boy is going to remember Christ. this for the rest of his life. It's not even Christmas yet, and we got the Grinch I, I, in the fucking building. I know. Um, Lucas, four now for him. Four now for him. Strong eight. My man of the match, best player on the pitch, scores a brace. First goal, absolutely fucking lovely finish on his weak foot. Played some great forward passes tonight. Yeah. Not much else to say. Strong eight, man of the match. Um, I'm going to give him – I'm going to agree. He's man of the match for me also. Just, just. Uh, if Flynn if would have – scored the brace, I think Flynn yeah. Downs is my man of the match. Totally, 100% uh, agree. Um, I just want to get to that comment quickly. Where is it? Uh, TMJ, will you be doing a World Cup watch along? Yes, I will be, mate. Um, yeah, listen, four now, si- simple rating, scored two goals. Uh, crossing was excellent tonight from set pieces. I will Absolutely. say that. Yeah, crossing uh, balls from corners, e- yeah, excellent. All, all good. Um, the chance yeah. Obama missed the first one, absolute yeah. peach. Great, great from ball from him, else. also. Yeah, um, I think. Um, Downs could have been man the match, but I think Fournell's just shades it with a second goal for me. Uh, solid, strong eight for me. Mitchell, should I brace myself for this one or not? Solid, strong eight. I thought he was good tonight. <laughs> really Hallelujah. solid. I thought, he, I thought his crossing from open play, not just on set pieces, was, was also very good. Putting a plate mm-hmm. to Downs. Downs should have scored, really. Um, uh-huh. Uh... Is the build of play was a bit too slow for me. I thought there were times we could have played some some players in, and he didn't, which pissed me off. Right. But um, I thought he was much better than what he has been recently, um, and he scored two good goals. So for me, yeah, I give him a I give him a solid eight. I thought it was good tonight. Probably, Born else could have been on a hat trick as well. Yeah, almost my man of the match. I thought he was solid. Mm. I'm not going to bother rating um, the the subs. Wait, they who's they come... you said almost your man of the match? Almost, Who was yeah. your man? Who was your man of the match? Really tight. I, I, I personally give it to. I, I don't know. It's, it's tough. I was thinking yeah. of Gwed. But I don't know now. Eight. <laughs> he's not a word now. He's got to be. I, 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 you know what? I'll, I'll, give, oh, I'll give Dan's my man of the match. Right. Them, them, them four nails, I'd say. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. We get to the ref. Um, Mitch, quick rating for I'm the ref. Deluded. Yeah, no, no problem, mate. No problem. You go Vanzini and eight. Remember that when he was one of the worst Mitch. players on the pitch. You remember that. Mitch, can I have a rating for the ref? You can. Um, I thought the linesman were embarrassing. I thought the referee was embarrassing. I give him, mm. give him a four. I thought they were really shit. Deserve to be in yeah. the Conference League. They were really shit. Shame because last week, I thought the refs were really good, actually, for mm. our game. And then this week, oh. they gave us two fucking farmers, part-timers. Mm. I'm going to give the ref a five. The only reason why I'm going to give him a, just a five, for me, is uh, I thought some things he did let go, and then some things he didn't let go. Yeah? The foul that um, cost Aguero the booking is shocking. Yeah? It's not a foul. It shouldn't even be a foul. And he pulls out, you know, kind of books him. So, yeah, absolute uh, shocking on that. Five out of ten for me. Uh, Lucas? Four. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you, mate. 
Um, he put on his shirt, put on both socks, and drove to the ground. Four. That is fair enough, mate. I'll get to this man. Though. Skulls easily man the match. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Let's not talk about And Dan's. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, well, let's talk about David Moyes. Mitch, talk about David Moyes tonight and his line uh, I personally wouldn't have played Ariola. But he did, and he didn't get injured, so fair enough. I thought the team was absolutely bang on. He set, up, set us up really well, put the, the academy players on at the right time. I don't know if Scarborough's on, on trolling. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Scarborough was a good player, mate. But Flynn Downs and Fornells were very good. It's not, I think significant. Just don't talk about well. Mbamba to him over there, the far right. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, oh. The you. Person, older person that <laughs> doesn't judge on the age. Oh, yeah. That um, go on, uh, David Moyes. Uh, I'll give him an eight, high eight. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Oh, and actually, no, I'm gonna give him a nine. I thought the setup was superb. I thought the way we pressed, the way we sat, defended, when we picked up moments, the t- it was excellent. I thought the I thought it was, and I don't give Moyes too much criticism, but I thought today. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, praise, sorry. I thought today you got it spot on. And it does really piss me off why we can't set up like this, what we did today in the Premier League. With mm. different, with the higher quality players, the way we do pressed, the way we play th- today, I don't uh-huh. know why we don't fucking do that in Prem. It really pissed me off. And no, it's not because it's some shit team. Because it, the, the, we would win, I guarantee, more games if we set up the way we did today, the way we pressed with uh-huh. the first team. In the Premier League, we've got 100% won more, a lot more games this season. Mm. It was good I'll football. Get... So you give him an eight? I'll give him a low nine. Low nine. I'll give him a 10 out of 10 performance. Easy from me. He, he, he picked it players in his team <laughs> tonight, like the 16 year old lad and Bamba, and he gave him a chance. He'll never become a future star and will probably be playing for Forest Green. In a couple of years, time. That's that's the positivity I <laughs> that, love to hear. But I'm, 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 you are one nigga faster, mate. I'm going to be but, honest. I'm only taking a piss here. <laughs> right. I probably will. You know I mean, um, yeah, ten out of ten performance from Moyes. Pick the players, rest of the players. Professional job. Uh, excellent football, really. Uh, Forward thinking football, brave football on the front foot against the poor side and dominate the game from start to finish. Uh, ten out of ten. Um, Lucas. I was going to go nine, but I'm going to give him a 10 because he has to have some sort of input with uh, the academy boys and the teams that are playing. I'm going to give him a 10 mm. because the lineup was bang on. He got the he got the academy boys on, and whatever he's telling some of the academy, co- academy coaches to do is absolutely bang on because every single academy player that came on today never passed the ball immediately backwards when they got the ball to them and their back was faced towards the defender. They got the ball, they turned and faced, and then made a pass or pass backwards. And that tells me a lot about how these academy coaches are teaching these kids to play positive football. So 10 out of 10. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you. Scarborough says here, read the chat. They agree with my man in the match. Well, I'm glad they do, mate. But Mitchell don't. <laughs> don't ask about his man in the match. And listen, he was very good, Oliver. Scars, or what his name is. Someone else was. I mean, he got. He put in a plate for two players tonight. Yeah. He got two goals. Come on. To give that fucking left back man match over him. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to be honest, the left back was fucking good tonight. I've got to be, he was good, I've got and to... he showed talent. He showed, like, quality. I didn't say it from Mamba tonight. Trying a bit of determination oh, to get him. Ollie Scarl's a left back. I would say he's more left wing back. He was, like, tonight. It was like a wing back position, wasn't it? Every time he, he popped up, he was on the wing, wasn't he? He weren't. He weren't like. I see this formation. They said it was four four two. It weren't four four two. It was like more like uh, Ben Johnson, a Bonner, and Aguirre as a three, and then Cafal and basically um, Oliver on left and right side. So yeah. Um, I've got to mention this man. Forson looked good when he came on. Uh, very small, nippy midfielder. Mini Kante, mate. Mini Kante. I've very, never very watched good. him yeah. before this game. I've always actually thought he actually looks really tidy. Like, he's yeah. controlling the ball. Like, Forson I, 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 is I a good player. I think I'd be a superstar scout. I don't know why I've not really. But, uh, <laughs> Jones, 
This show is brought us smiles. Skulls could become a decent player in the future. I reckon probably championship level. Um, Boric and Bamba, my Bamba will probably be playing in League One yeah. or League Two. <laughs> uh, listen, it's been a pleasure tonight. I must admit, um, the ratings have been mental from me. I've been very stressed but... out today, and the game. <laughs> right before we go, yeah, I'm going to ask you this because uh, I don't think uh, Lucas is going to reach the co-op. Um, Sunday, you two are going. What are we expecting on Sunday? Honestly, I'm, ex- I'm expecting after tonight, I think it's going to lift the mood from all the players that stayed back and watched mm. positive vibes. I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go two, one. <laughs> two sorry, one Lucas, Sunday. Lucas, sorry, but Mitch, the Grinch, that is his new name for everyone. Christmas is coming. Carry on, Lucas. I we played it since tonight. I'm very happy to promise. Yeah. I'm two right. on Sunday for me. I'm just a realistic person. Right, Mitch, what are you saying about Sunday, mate? Because it is a must-win game in the Premier League. I think... Um, I think we'll win. I think it'll be a good game. I mm. reckon a bit more goals than what's been in the recent games. Uh, I reckon we could we could see maybe like a 2-2, two, 2-1 two, two, to us. Yeah. Uh, depends. Obviously, if we're fit, then I think we get a win. Uh, if Pogretta's half fit, I'd start him anyway because I think he's so crucial to the way we, we attack. When he hasn't yeah, played, we fucking... What, we, we scored no goals. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, 2 on that's Sunday. Also down, that's also down to Moyes because he's been playing fucking down to the cam as well. 2-1 yeah. on Sunday, up the fucking irons. I'm going to co-op. Love you both. Love the chat. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Take it easy, mate. Um, I'll let you go. Right. Um, for me, on Sunday, it's a must-win game. Must win. Like I, I can't have a draw on Sunday. I need West Ham to attack Palace and get the three points. Um, tonight, I, I like so what I said. Guys. I think they're so overrated. They play some decent yeah. football times. But they, the, the midfield is, is one of the worst in the league, if not the worst. Yeah. Like if, if we play if we play Rice and Downs, this is not a game for social. This is... The most Dan's S game you could, he will play so check because he's just a stubborn cunt boys. But yeah, this game for me is so be such a perfect fit for Dan's and Rice to play playing together and then like Paquetta in front. Or if Paquetta's not fully fit then full nails, but I think Paquetta's fit, mate. I do. Because I just think Dan's does not play so. to me. Mate, this game is so like we need to keep the possession and use it well in midfield because the midfield yeah. is awful. So we will have dominated possession. If Dallas yeah. is in that midfield with Rice, um, you know yeah. they can play for, play with each other quite well. I just, I just, I just think if Flynn Downs plays on Sunday, then he's like, he's unreal. <laughs> of course, he's just played in Romania. I think it's so check. Um, the time um, will come when Moyes comes to his senses and so check does eventually drop to the bench every game. When that will happen, mm-hmm. I don't know. Unless unless Moyes gets sacked before that. Um, yeah if I'm going to ask you this and I'm going to put this to the chat before we wrap yeah mm-hmm. if we don't get the right result on Sunday where do you stand with Moyes honestly so check doesn't get going for me I understand he doesn't it, so check yeah. I would never start so check so in the prem, sorry to cut you off there um, I get your point but at the same time this this exact this game I'm, I kind of understand why he started um, so check against right. Liverpool um, even though I don't agree with it, but this game is is perfect for Dan's, where they, they're, they're weak in midfield and they're not mobile. Right. They haven't got a good balance in midfield. They're, they're just all over the place. They've got no connection between the midfield and attack balance. Um, mm. Right, but so what, answer, what you say, sorry? Answer, answer that question, what I just said to you. And the question is, if we don't get the right result on Sunday and it ain't a positive yeah. performance, yeah, where do you stand with Moyes on this? Because for me, I'm going to say this, and if I'm going to let you And he's not so check, and there's no Paqueta. He, he doesn't play Bo, um, Ben Rama. Right. And yes, it is on him. It, it is on him, and uh, it will, it will, it will continue to frustrate me. Um, I, I have to judge at the time, James, because obviously, I have to see how I feel. I haven't really given too much thought about it, but if um, um, if we do lose, honest. if we lose, mm. and and Dan's ain't like starting. 
and subjects you're starting, then oh, I don't know. It's just I, I, I want the feel... fucking coaches to pipe up to Moyes and just say, Moyes, fuck yeah. him off. Get him out of the fucking team, Sochi. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, this is me. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, if we don't get the right result on Sunday and we lose the game to Palace, yeah, regardless of how we lose, if we do lose the game against Palace, I am going to be firmly on the on the borders of Moyes has got to go. The next three games are Palace, Blackburn, Leicester. I expect three wins. We're all at home. There's no pressure. There's no travelling. There's no excuses in that. Um, I, Moyes needs to perform in the Prem. And if he doesn't do it in the Prem, I do fear when we come back. Because when we come back after the World Cup, we're going to have uh, League, FA Cup, League Cup, Euro, uh, Euro, uh, European Conference League, if we have a fucking lot, and we have a lot so more than we've had. What does the league now. start again? The 26th of December, Arsenal, oh, so 8 o'clock just... kickoff. So, what Moyes should be doing, also, because obviously we won't come back too often that then. Yeah. What Moyes should be doing is also scouting. Not sitting the in his player, fucking yeah. arse enjoying the World Cup. He's got to be scouting. Don't take so fucking long in January transfer window like you've done this year and took 12 days to draw his target list up. Do you remember that? He took yeah, 12 I days. That. To draw his I'm still getting over up. it, mate. <laughs> well, what he needs to do is in the World Cup, watch players yeah. in the World Cup and scout some as well. Ones that are still maybe playing in the Championship. Or see, I, I agree with this comment from Drain Hole. Yeah, I really do. Um, we do need performances. We ain't. It's not about the results. It, it is about the performances for me. I think the wins are more important, though. I think we've been putting in okay performances recently. Not great, okay, and, and not getting results. Lucas, Lucas is back. Yeah, you're lucky. You would have been the one that I lashed out on if I didn't get my Snickers and Twix. (laughs) He would have. He would have beat your. He chose to go cop. He would have beat your ass, mate. Mate, you're the one who was late. Yeah, we had to ask for your ratings. And and then you. Oh, can we hurry this up a bit, mate? Fuck you. <laughs> I was saying it because someone said in the chat, said about, oh, Lucas, you've got to go caught up. And I thought, okay, fair enough. Let's, let's hurry up. Which is why right. after that, I spent my rating up. You thought Lucas. Lucas, I'm not. That's not if you're so mean. That's not if you're so rude. <laughs> Lucas, I'll ask you. I'll ask you this quickly before we go, because I was going to wrap it up. I will ask you if we don't get the right result on Sunday, where do you sort of, where does the land life with you and Moyes? Um, again, it depends on the, I, I hate saying it, but it depends yeah. on the performance. Like if we come out flat and, and play like we normally do, lose one nil, I'll be fucking fuming. But if we put it to them, we create a lot of chances and it just doesn't yeah. fall our way and say it ends one, mm-hmm. one, I'll be upset because I think we're better than palace, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But, I am in this for this. It is a results based business. We don't go out there to have fun. Fucking, we need we need to win. We should be winning at home, with the yeah. way Palace sets up normally, and with who we've brought in, coaching and players. We should be beating these teams when we have the ball and have possession. Yeah, so, I agree. Two one for me on Sunday. I'll say, Lucas. Well, Dan's. Has to start over Sochek for me this week. This game is is made. I mean, I hours. agree, but it's it's just not going to happen. So I think my boys ones, you know, you don't really like look at the opposition and see where you can exploit them. You don't look like Trent, like playing four nails against Trent the other week instead of Ben Rama. Like, always does really piss me off sometimes. As much as I love him, mm-hmm. I've got a feeling. I, I've got a feeling Downs don't play. I think he'll go with Ben Rama, Bowen, and uh, Skamaka. That's what I, that's what I think is going to happen. I think he's got he, and he's going to play uh, Suchek, Rice. It's either going to be four nails or it's going to be um, Pequeta. I don't yeah. agree with that at all. Mm. I don't uh, know, Mitch. I don't know because I just look at Downs. Would you? I agree with really, what you don't think. Downs you, should be playing. No, I think Downs should be playing, but I don't think Downs would be playing after playing an hour tonight. Yeah, I don't. I personally don't think he will. But that's nine. That's nine boys. Mm. 
Um, mate, we've got to win. If we if we lose this game, I'll be absolutely furious. I will be furious. I'm going to ask you another, another thing, though, Mitch. Yeah, Agued, right? Obviously, tonight, I, I think we all agree he was pretty solid tonight. Does he start? Does he play a game in the Premier League this side of the World Cup? Yeah. And what game is it? Sunday. He's ready. ready. It was ready last week. Another week he's passed. He's fucking ready. The boy's ready. Dawson didn't have the greatest game against Man United. Um, And for me, again, comes straight in there. Zuma can go back to his natural position then as a right-sided centre-half. Yeah, I agree. Care right back. You know, we wouldn't concede any more than one goal. And then at at the most on Sunday... And then it gives us a good chance of, of uh, winning. <laughs> also, I hope I hope Tiago play as well. Yeah, um, I've got to ask you this. Oh, I have got to ask you this. I know we're going off topic, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's West Ham. Cresswell, the best left back in Europe at the moment. I, I am not this this today. I've I've seen it everywhere, and I am. Um, we talked about it earlier. I really do not like getting back. Yeah, uh, did you? Re- I, I, I saw the picture pop up everywhere, everywhere, yeah. and I just thought, I'm just getting back to work. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not explaining myself. If you honestly think, yeah, he's been the best <laughs> left back in Europe. This uh, not just statistically, then <laughs> I'm not say. So uh, like. It, it's it just, could be it's worse. It's a joke. It's just a fucking it could joke. With, it could be going away with England. <laughs> That's another thing. Oh, I'm mean, ill. If you go, uh, like people are actually actually saying you should go eat, like to the England squad, like it's just laughable. It really yeah. is, in my opinion. Like, uh, you, like if he was, he does not fit the way England play whatsoever. He'd be nah. absolutely fucked in the World Cup if he was to play for England. Not, yeah, not in a million years. Been. Not in a million years. He's been he's been solid this season, but again, he, he he's still not good enough. Right? Yeah, I agree with Vainal. Yeah, he's, so, he's so slow at the build-up play, and this is mm. thing that stats don't tell you. And think that it's crossing for me. It's been poor this season. I think it's been really, really poor. Yes, mate. Yes, I just I I, I agree with you hundred percent on that. He retains the ball fairly well. He does simple passes and keeps the ball well. He's defended pretty well. His position has been good. So, the rest of it has been bang average or His poor. crossing, his corners, his set pieces but, have been diabolically bad. Actually, yeah, not ask, even average. Uh, diabolical. I've got to ask Scarborough this year because no Scarborough. And not the most and, chances. And real quick, real Show quick. Show me the chances. Yeah. Like, yeah. Real quick. I will, I will I'm get sorry. But when, yeah. when Aaron Cresswell is on the pitch, yeah. the first thing that comes to my mind, I don't want him to be – an elite defender because he's not an elite defender. He is on the pitch because right. he is a decent defender and he's a very good set piece taker. And if you don't think he's on the pitch to be a good set piece taker, but he's on the pitch yeah. to be a great defender, you're smoking fucking crack. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Right, I've got to ask Scarborough this. Yeah, Scarborough. Yeah, because I see the comment. Cresswell uh, has made the second most chances in the league of, of teams. <laughs> In the other fourteen, I don't Chots know why. I don't created know. bollocks. Oh, I yeah, don't, I don't, I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm, um, really I'm going to be Me honest. Lucas have spoke about it. The shots yeah. just created. It's just, it's just a load of bullshit. But you, you have to give him criticism for his crosses, because his crosses are inconsistent at best. He does a lot of sideways and back stuff, and he doesn't get to the byline enough for me. And when you look at um, Kara. It's what the stats don't show. Mm. Uh, they, don't, they don't tell you that I want to see stats slow how cut. many extra touches he takes that he doesn't have to fucking take because he takes exactly. too many oh, fucking touches. Most touches the most touches scenario. The reason why he takes so many touches, well done, Lucas. It's because he's so fucking slow. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that. Chris, what, on for player of the season? Oh, no. <laughs> it's happened. You, usual suspect is getting into him, mate. You know what I mean? Uh, Scott Venn uh, donated his wages to us tonight. 79 pence. Nice one, Scott. Cheers, um, baby. I, I do appreciate Scotty Venn putting in his tip money. Um, listen, I'm going to round it up. At Mitchell looks like he's had another life. Um, also, what the pre- fuck is that? I'm a celeb lineup. Like, please do smash a like video. I know, mate. It's a bit rough, isn't it? I'm <laughs> it a, a celeb. I mean, that's, that's Sunday at all. Boy fucking George. 
and, and that's it. The rest are just a bunch of cunts. Boring, fucking PC, I'm gonna get... nice, nice people that will just like kind of yeah. sit all happy for the camera and go, oh, I'd like to do a bush, bush tucker trial. I'm, I'm scared of spiders and snakes. And that's about Wait, it. I'll... I would love to see you eat some kangaroo bollocks. It would be it would be very interesting. Trust me. I, um, I, I would love to smell my sled. In fact, I'm expecting if this channel really takes off, which I think it should do, if you all like uh, like and comment and subscribe and hit notification bell, then I would love to be invited and I'm sled 2023. Mate, you would get voted by by the subscribers to get in. And I would I would <laughs> welcome it. I would do any trial. I don't give a fuck. I'll just go head on. Yeah. And I'll be I provide good entertainment besides some of the fucking Karens I'm sitting on here this year. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'll leave it at that. Uh, please do smash a like on the video. It will go a long way. It helped me out. Then to him, to my right, the American is going. And to my far right, the uh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here contender, he's going also. Um listen, whatever happens on Sunday happens, but I'll be back on Sunday. We're not just going. We're next to each other, by the way. Oh, yeah, oh, you're next to each other at all. Oh, even better, mate. we get some footage. Uh, well, we'll we're yin-yang yin 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 at the London Stadium, baby. Fuck me. Yin-yang yin yin at the London what'd Stadium. Say, what did you just say, man? <laughs> I just talked about that. Yeah, oh, the love affair's gone wrong. But this love <laughs> affair is... Don't, don't, don't even, oh, I'll speak to you in a minute. Can you let me end this fucking stream, lads? Uh, I will see you again in the next one. Peace. Thank God they shut the fuck up. There it is. I've never found a love like this. Ooh.